All right. I wasn't going to do this video because there's a whole bunch of them on YouTube. But because I keep getting asked, here we are. Now let's turn your Skyrim from this to this in just hours. Let's get started. First step, get Nexus Premium. I know, I know. Look, it's not required, but if you want this to be auto-installed, that's what you need. Otherwise, you'll have to manually download every single mod. Ain't nobody got time for that. You're also gonna need a good solid state drive to be able to run these mod lists. Next step, have a clean install of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Yes, I said AE and not SE. Blame Todd for making us buy it again. Damn you, Todd. Who's laughing now? Once you have it installed, run it and make sure you download all the Creation Club content. Last step, go to wabajack.org. What? Crazy, right? From there, hit the download button. From here, save it to any drive you want to. I put this in my D drive and in its own folder. Once it's done downloading, the only thing you need to do is run it. Then just click browse mod list. Under games, you can see all the games Wabajack support, but I know you're here for Skyrim. So click Skyrim Special Edition. Make sure you have show unofficial list click so you can see all the mod lists. Huh? What's that? What's the difference between official and unofficial list you say? I have no idea. For those that are looking for the best list for Skyrim, hit the show NSFW so you can see all the best lists like Licentia Black, Master Stroke, and all of the above. But we're not doing that today. For now, we'll stick to these regular lists. Let's pick a good one like Chargrin. You can click download, it will download the Wabajack file. And once it's done downloading, all you have to do is click play. When you hit play, a readme will pop up. Now, it is crucial, and I mean like your life depends on this. You gotta read these y'all. I promise you, you do. Make sure you read every single letter in this readme. Don't be that one idiot that goes to a Discord server and asks questions that's already answered in here. Okay, got it? Moving on. Go ahead and go back to Wabajack and it should be asking you for where you want to install the mod list. Make sure you install it in an SSD and in a folder that's away from the Skyrim root folder. I personally have a mod list folder for all the lists I have installed. And yes, you can download multiple mod lists. Once a folder is picked, then you pick where all the Nexus mod downloads will go. Here's a pro tip. You can designate one specific download folder for all the mod lists you are installing and it will save you time in the future. Granted that you have a big enough hard drive for all of them. Oh, pause. Now that you have all your folders picked, all you have to do is hit play and wait and let Wabajack do its thing. Now for those lists that are not on the Wabajack UI, the only difference is that you download the Wabajack installation file manually. For example, Elder Gleam is not on the Wabajack UI, but it's on Nexus. Just go to the Nexus page of the mod list, click manual download and save the Wabajack installation file anywhere. And then extract the Wabajack installation file. Click the Wabajack installation file and it will automatically pull Wabajack. And then you basically just do the same steps. Okay, now that you have your mod list installed, the readme should pop up again. Again, make sure you read this, especially the post installation section. After reading, go ahead and go to the installation folder that you set up and you should see mod organizer automatically installed for you. Right click it and run it as admin. Once it pops up, you should see that all the mods are automatically installed for you. And all you have to do is hit run on the top right and play the game. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you need support, make sure you join the Wabajack Discord so you can find a specific server for the mod list you're trying to install. I know I kind of ran through it, but hopefully this video was very helpful to you. If you liked the video, you already know what to do. Do the YouTube thing and hit the like and subscribe and all that stuff. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.